Libya, not very long ago, had a dictator called Muammar Gaddafi. Remember him? He's the same man who was lynched to death in 2011. What did I do to you? Gaddafi asked his killers before getting shot. If there were some Israeli agents among the crowd that lynched Gaddafi, they would definitely be saying to themselves, you killed Jews. Then came the Muslim Brotherhood extremist government, backed by Turkey, which was a deal breaker for Arab nations like UAE, Egypt and Saudi Arabia. But they had an option and a hope, General Khalifa Haftar, who mobilized against the GNA. Ten years later, Israel has got the opportunity to turn the tide in Libya. Today, Israel can play the most important role in a country that not very long ago was driven by an insatiable urge to destroy the Jewish nation. Today, Israel can help General Khalifa Haftar take control of Libya. And guess what? Israel will help Haftar. Hi and welcome. You're watching TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Atul Mishra and in this video, I will tell you how Haftar is going to be the next Libyan president and Libya is going to join Israel immediately after. Let's begin. Libya is slated to hold parliamentary and presidential elections in December for the first time in several years following the public lynching of Muammar Gaddafi. The elections can be a stepping stone for Libya to return to normalcy and end its ongoing civil war. Currently, the Islamist government of National Accord or the GNA holds the fort in Tripoli. But General Khalifa Haftar-led Libyan National Army or the LNA is also a major stakeholder in Libya. So normalcy will only return to Libya if General Haftar and his forces agree that normalcy must return to their country. Any negotiation which does not have the LNA in the agreement will bear no fruits for Libya. Consider this. General Haftar and his forces are supported by a rainbow coalition of countries like Egypt, Jordan, the UAE, Russia and France. The GNA has the actual backing of Turkey and Qatar alone, while the USA offers mere lip service on the Libyan question these days. Needless to say, the entry of a decisive power was required to break the Libyan stalemate. That entry has now happened and Israel is all set to turn the Libyan equation upside down. The son of Libyan warlord Khalifa Haftar reportedly visited Israel last week for a secret meeting with Israeli officials in which he offered to establish diplomatic relations between the countries in return for Israeli support. Along with him, a number of Libyan general Khalifa Haftar's aides arrived in Israel on board a private plane that took off from the UAE. According to the Haaretz Daily, Haftar carried a message from his father requesting Israeli military and diplomatic assistance in return for a pledge to establish a normalization process between Libya and Israel akin to the Abraham Accords establishing relations between the Jewish state and the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain and Morocco. General Khalifa Haftar is therefore looking to secure military and financial aid from Israel for furthering his own cause in Libya, where he hopes to come to power. Israel has been supportive of General Haftar's cause, but is not an official party to the Libyan conflict. When it does become one, rest assured, the LNA forces will be able to pluck the GNA out of Tripoli easily. Already, as explained by TFI, Russia and Egypt have forced Turkey to take out its mercenaries from Libya. These were all fighting on the behalf of the GNA. Therefore, the GNA government is weakening in Libya and General Haftar is looking to capitalize on this situation using Israeli help. In exchange, Israel will get yet another Arab partner which will support it and seize arming Palestinians for the cause of Intifada. It will be a win-win situation for both Israel and General Haftar. North Africa is getting swamped by support for Israel. Morocco is already a signatory to the Abraham Accords and has already established official ties with Israel. Egypt is supportive of Israel and has a long-standing peace treaty with the Jewish nation dating back to 1979. Now Libya is all set to recognize Israel and establish official ties with it in exchange for military aid which General Haftar will use to depose the GNA-led government in Tripoli. What is basically happening is that in North Africa and the Mediterranean, Turkey is losing its edge. The Mediterranean in any case is not supportive of Turkey and for three major countries of North Africa to begin siding with Israel will be nothing less than a nightmare for Ankara. Earlier, TFI had reported how Egypt had taken a major step to counter growing Turkish aggression. In July this year, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi inaugurated a large naval base 
135 kilometers from the border with Libya. Named as the 3rd of July military air and naval base, the port marks the day Egypt's current president overthrew the Muslim Brotherhood government from Cairo in 2013. What added to the glamour of the day was the presence of UAE Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Egypt has been trying to secure itself and the East Mediterranean from Turkey's expansionist maneuvers. Tensions over the gas fields in the region have simmered for years but escalated when Turkey signed a deal with Libya's GNA to set up shared maritime borders in 2019. If Turkey gains control of Libya's waters, it would essentially be able to dominate the southern Mediterranean Sea to the detriment of European nations, Israel and Egypt. Therefore, support for the Muslim Brotherhood government in Libya is really just a strategic way for Turkey to expand its influence in the Mediterranean and eventually hegemonize it. Early this month, Egyptian Foreign Minister Sameh Shokri discussed with the Russian Security Council Secretary Nikolai Patrushev Moscow bilateral relations and international and regional developments. During this meeting, Shokri stressed the need for all foreign forces to leave Libya. Russia made it clear that for any meaningful withdrawal of troops to happen from Libya, Turkey must first take out its mercenaries from the war-torn African nation. Soon after, the news was broken that Turkey was, in fact, really taking out Syrian mercenaries from Libya and extending an olive branch to Russia, Egypt and other countries with which its relations have turned sour. Most definitely, Israel will extend all possible help to the LNA led by General Khalifa Haftar. It now knows that its interests would be best served if the LNA comes to power in Libya. Israel always keeps its own interests over and above all other considerations. So it will certainly help Haftar in getting rid of the GNA in Libya. And then to have Libya as the next Abraham Accords signatory will be quite a magnificent feather in Tel Aviv's cap. The war in Libya seems to be coming to a close and Israel can play a decisive role in ending it for once and for all.